It's called the Long Gray Line. Among the names who have graced that line are Robert E. Lee, Dwight Eisenhower, George Patton, Douglas MacArthur. Ever since West Point was established back in 1802, over 40,000 cadets have joined that Long Gray Line to serve as officers and gentlemen in the United States Army. To an aspiring cadet, the Military Academy offers a free college education. This year, nearly 15,000 applied. Just 1,300 were accepted. About 10% of the cadet corps are women. To supply that corps with the best and the brightest, the Academy insists on a rigorous discipline that it considers necessary to determine who is fit to lead and who is not. And as Morley Safer found out, that discipline begins the very first day. When they arrive, they are your brighter-than-average, self-confident teenage boys and girls. Free and easy, slightly smart-ass, but decent young Americans with a will of their own. They are about to say goodbye to all that. Relatives and guests will go one direction, candidates will go another. Please take a few moments to say goodbye. Going from colorful and carefree civilian to the end of that long gray line can be traumatic. No matter how bright your parents or your teachers thought you were, the academy assumes you're an idiot. Toes on the line. Toes on the line. Fall in right to left. Right to left. Don't toes on the line. It's not behind line, not in front of line, or I'm on line. Let's go. Fall in. Right to left. All the way From day one for one solid year, they go through a special kind of hell. It is called the fourth class system, in which any upperclassman or woman may relentlessly chew them out for any perceived lapse in deportment, behavior, any act or manner that does not conform to the West Point way of life. Nothing physical, just a constant reminder to the cadet or plebe that he or she is but a speck of dust in the academy's grand design. Two ranks, new cadets, can you count? It's one way of finding out who can take it and who can't. Put your bag on the ground, new cadet. Look me in the eyes, new cadet. At all times, keep your eyes on mine. You understand, new cadet? Yes, sir. You'll address all male cadets sir, you've spoken to. Is that understood? Yes, sir. Mister, step up my line, close next to my line, and on my line. Move! Some of these specs will ultimately become generals. Some will drop out in a matter of weeks. You'll perform all duties as directed in a military manner. Look at that, where's your name tag? Hey, you. I'm not wearing it, sir. I'm not wearing it, sir. Is that one of your four proper responses? No, sir. What are your four responses, look at it? Sir, my four responses. Not quick enough. First, sir, my four responses are yes, sir, no, sir, no excuse, sir, and sir, I do not understand. One more time, look at it. Sir, my four responses are yes, sir, no, sir, no excuse, sir, and sir, I do not understand. Look at that, where's your name tag? Sir, I have no excuse. That is not one of your four responses. You just told me he's a new cadet. What are your four responses, new cadet? Sir, my four responses are yes, sir. Faster. Sir, my new, sir, my four responses are yes, sir, no, sir, no excuse, sir, and sir, I do not have any. Try it again. New cadet, you having a synapse labs? No, sir. Yes, you are. What are your four responses? Sir, my four responses are yes, sir, no, sir, no excuse, sir, and sir, I do not understand. Why do you not have a name tag? No excuse, sir. Much, much better. Do you know how to get to drill one? No, sir. Move. Move. Permission to ask questions, sir. Format is, sir, may I ask a question? Sir, may I ask a question? Yes. Where am I supposed to go? What are your four responses? Sir, my four responses are, yes, sir, no, sir, sir, I don't understand. There's no excuse, sir. And no time to answer. What are you doing? What are you doing? No excuse, sir, right? No excuse, sir. Correct? What you can stand in until you do? Try it again. He told me. Sir, my four responses are, sir, yes, sir, no excuse, sir, and no time to answer. I do not understand. We've already been through this line. Sir, there's no excuse. Why would you? Through it a second time. No excuse, sir. Go fly. Go fly. Don't step on it. Did I tell you to drop your gear yet, mister? No, sir. Drop your gear. Put your pants on top. The cadet learns early on that every time he opens his mouth, he is at risk. Sir, new cadet, and you would report to the basic, basic training as ordered, sir. Is that how you've been taught to do it? No, sir. You're supposed to be one step in front of my desk. Order arms. Move. Come here, new cadet. Try again. Sir, new cadet UN report, reports to the... Cadet. Cease work. Try again. Sir, new cadet UN reports to basic training as ordered, sir. Cease work. That is wrong format. Try it again. Sir, cadet... New Cadet Ewan reports to cease work. Sir, New Cadet 
cowboy reports the first... The hazing may look capricious, even foolish at times. The Academy regards it as an important tradition. It should be pointed out that it is much less harsh today than it was even 20 years ago. Get your other hand off my desk and put it back in the position of attention. As we said, no physical abuse is permitted. Still, about 12% of the plebes drop out before the first year is up. Sir, new cadet Robertson reports to the first sergeant of Company A. Cadet basic train for the first time as ordered. Not bad, new cadet. Welcome to Alpha Company Cadet Basic Training. I am the company first sergeant. As such, I'm responsible for your in-processing, orientation, and training during cadet basic training. I encourage you to keep your sense of humor. But more importantly, I encourage you to follow instructions explicitly. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. At this time, demonstrate to me your salutes under the command of present arms. Among the first and most difficult lessons a cadet must learn is the most basic of all military functions, Saluting. Yes, sir. What kind of salute is that? I don't know, sir. I don't know. Didn't I teach you four responses earlier today? Yes, sir. Was that one of them? No, sir. Where did you pull that out from? No excuse, sir. Why don't you try and execute a proper military salute? Yes, sir. Present arms. May I touch you, new cadet? Yes, sir. From here to here is one knife edge. Straight. No cups in the hands. You got that, new cadet? Yes, sir. Is that too uncomfortable to do, new cadet? No, sir. Then why don't you do it? No excuse, sir. Order arms, new cadet. Present arms, new cadet. Get out of here, new cadet. Yes, sir. West Point assumes that America's future leaders need remedial training in everything. Ready? Step. At this time, on a command, step, very step. You'll take another 30-inch step with your right foot. Ready? Step. Now, I know you all know your left foot from your right foot. I told you I wanted your left foot to strike the ground with the base drum does. I'm not seeing that. I want to see that from now on. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right face. Forward. March. Get one pair of white gloves for each of you. You're gonna need them. In about half an hour, you're gonna be falling in for the parade. Get plenty of water, do you understand? Yes, sir! Sam, you've been here for about five hours, so should we expect you to perform to the standards that have already been set? You understand me, Trishler? Yes, sir! You understand me, Trishler? Yes, sir! Trishler, is he getting to your skull, Trishler? Trishler, do you understand everything I've said to you? Yes, sir! Trishler, right face. Trishler, move out to your room, get ready for the parade. Move out. This is one of three parades that are held for you, for nobody but you. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Go out Much there better. and do it right. Within six hours of entering, they're on their first parade, filled with pride and a sense of honor as they take their oath that I will support the Constitution of the United States and bear true allegiance to the national government. Beautifully shined, cleaned, and pressed young commanders of the future. But first, they must be turned into soldiers. War! Eagles! War! Eagles! War! Eagles! Why? Use your weapon to keep you away from the barbed wire. Use your weapon. Smith Dennis is getting her butt shot off. We are not men, we are beasts. Who wants to quit? Who wants to go home? Who wants to go home? Get off your knees. Get off your knees. Who wants to quit? 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 Never quit. Never, never quit. quit. never quit. Never quit. Never quit. But you do not quit. Step out, Hollier. Do not quit. If you quit, the next time you'll quit again. We have no place for that in the army. Sir, I'm giving it all I have. Well, you better give a little more, Hollier. Let's go. Let's set up movement, 
The only solace, the only refuge available to a plebe is the classroom. It's the one place where fourth class hazing is off limits. Since the electrons are coming in here, the anode has to be made out of copper. The academy assumes its cadets can deal with subjects like physics and chemistry. It also assumes the cadets cannot deal with a knife and fork. This is how you would eat. You'd be one fist distance away from the back of your chair, one fist distance away from the table. You pick up your fork, starting from the outside, your tensile and working in. You will take small bites. Small bites are qualified as those bites that can be chewed three times or less and swallowed. Do you understand? Yes, sir. After you have taken your bite, you will set your fork upon your plate. Put your hands in your lap and then chew. And you hold it left to the right of your head. You say, sir. There are six and about servants. A chef style is on here, remaining on the table. Is that clear? Faye, set it down. Faye, what is your problem? You need to pay attention to details. Is that clear? Yes, sir. I'll go over the format for you one more time and one time only. When you use your knife to eat your bread or to whatever, to butter your bread, you break off a small piece of bread such as this. You will take your knife Take a dab of butter and butter it. You will set the knife upon your plate, outside of the fork. Put the bread into your mouth and chew. You lift it to the right side of your head as such. You sound off with this format. Sir, prefer beverage less meals, grape juice. Would anyone not care for grape juice, sir? Try it, you get thing. Sir, the preferred beverage for this meal is grape juice. Would anyone not care for grape juice, sir? Excellent, you can have Do you understand? Yes, sir. Remembering that the preferred beverage for dinner is grape juice may be a small victory. But it is soon followed by the humiliation of breakfast. If one of you is wrong, you're all wrong. If one of you is right and the rest of you are wrong, then the person that's right is wrong as well. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Eat. Let's go. You take it away from you. Take it to your mouth and put it in. Chin up, chin up, chin up. That's the way it'll stay. Yes, sir. You do not need to see your food. You stick the fork in it and you put it in your mouth. Yes, sir. Understand? Yes, sir. Now work. Ah! We found this new class in their first few days at the academy. If they're lucky and tough, if they learn when to walk and when to talk and when to stand still, they will get to experience at the end of the school year what the class before them experienced. The rejoining of the human race, when you are finally given the honor of a first name. It's over! They still face another three years before they come to this day of graduation and their first commission. Three years that will be, by comparison, a piece of cake.